Got myself a nice Grand Stream shirt. I look good in it. Today, we're going to talk about the three devices that Grand Stream sent me a month ago because I've been so busy trying to do other projects and learning this. We have a 7002 um, router, really nice, really good VPN. We have the uh, GWN 7802P PoE switch right here. And we have the nice seven, what was this thing? I think so small in here. GWN 7662 access point Wi-Fi 6 with a 2.5 gigabit and a one gigabit PoE port. Really nice. I like these access points. I had some problems with this in the last video, but this video I'll be able to show you what problem I had and how I resolved it. These actually work really, really well and are very, very affordable. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add all three of these devices to the cloud, set them up, set up an SSID and maybe another VLAN. Then after that, I'm going to phone my ISP and have a little battle with them because it's always a pain in the butt to get my MAC address changed. Then we're going to put that on the network in video two, showing you guys how to do a VPN and some more advanced stuff. And I might even call Willie Howe and say, hey, how do we do this? Because we've been trying to do a collab and I know he's a really busy guy. So um, we'll see if we can make that happen too in video two. But for now, I just want to show you guys how to add it to the cloud and configure things and how actually good it is. Now, other people are going to say, nah, don't do cloud, but I'll do another video on how to do stuff out of the cloud just like this. So let's jump in, add it to the cloud and go from there. I'm going to put myself down below so that way you guys can see all the screen and stuff like that, make life a little easier. So the first thing we need to do is log into the cloud to FA code. If you use a piece of software or a cloud and it has no 2FA, run. These devices on the bottom of every device has a MAC address and then they have a secret password. So if you ever have to factor default these, you can go to the IP address of them. And when you add them to the cloud, I'll show you when we add them to the cloud, you take the MAC address off of these. So I copied all this information ahead of time because me squinting for five minutes to see letters and putting them in there wrong isn't really a fun time. I've already done all that stuff. Log it. We're in the dashboard. We're going to create a new site because they have multiple sites that you can have. And I want to emphasize this too. It's free. Everything I'm doing right now costs nothing. There's no fees at all for the cloud. You can have tons of networks, mom and dad, your office, your side office, maybe your home network. You can have hundreds, maybe not hundreds. That's a lot to manage, but you can have a lot for free, zero dollars. So let's jump in here. We're going to create a new network. The time looks correct. The network, we're not going to clone a network, but you can if you have a network that's similar. So we're going to go save. It will create that network for you. Pretty simple. And then what we want to do is go back up the top here and we want to change to that network. And there we go. It's online. Now I'm connected to this router right now and all three devices are factory reset and ready to go. There's nothing special set up on this. So you guys are going to see how I add it and go from there. So the first thing we probably want to do is go to devices. We want to add a device. I'm going to probably add the main uh, firewall. So we'll call this main firewall. We'll grab the MAC address. We'll plop that in there. And now we'll grab the password. And then we'll call it the same thing, just so we can find it later on. We're going to say no to this because we want to start fresh. And there we go. We've added the main router, firewall. On these devices, when they come out of the box, you'll see on the backs of the ports, I'll put a picture in here, that there is the number port three will be for your WAN, but it's actually the secondary WAN. It took me a while to figure out how this worked. On here, the SFP2 modules, well, number one is WAN one, and the third port, number three, is your secondary for ethernet. 
the SFP port 2 is for your LAN. And now I have this connected with the switch using some basic FS modules that I got. They're just one gig modules because these are one gig SFP ports and they work very well, flawless. Both of those are on. So let's add the switch now. And just so you know, if you have this equipment at mom and dad's house and they have it plugged in and they can tell that the lights are on, you can add this to your portal if you have these two pieces of information to help out. Really slick idea. You don't have to be on the same network to do it. Now we have the switch added. Let's do the access point. I'm going to add this to port port one. Now these switches are kind of weird. I'm used to switches going one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. These ones go opposite. One on the bottom, two on the top, three on the bottom, four on the top. It's kind of backwards, upside down weirdness. I don't know why, but they just do that. So let's add the access point. Password. We'll click add and done. It's offline right now because it's still booting. Probably can't tell, but it's green. When it's online, it'll go purple. As that's setting up, let's set up a guest network. Settings, LAN. The main default LAN is here, but we're gonna create a new one. So we're gonna go add, VLAN name, guest network, VLAN ID, 10, simple. Gateway will be the main firewall because that's going to be the gateway. We'll give it 192.168.10.1 slash 24. And we'll give it a DHCP server, but we'll give it a, sm a small one. So 192.168.10.100 to 192.168.10.1. To and we'll give a DNS of 9.9.9.13, .9 I believe it is. Actually, we'll just give it 9, quad 9. And 1.1.1.1. And we'll go save. Pretty simple. So now we have two VLANs or two networks. And one's a VLAN, one's a normal network. And now we just need to set up two Wi Fi networks and then assign those. So we'll go to Wi Fi. The default one is GWN Cloud right here. We're gonna change that. We're gonna call this Jason's Lab. And for security, we'll give it a password. Basic, very basic setup. There's no, the second video, I'll go over more in-depth settings on here, but right now we'll just leave it as this. So we'll save that. And then what we'll do is we'll go add, and we're gonna create the guest one. Turn that on because we want it to be Wi-Fi. We want to go bridge and then associated VLAN. We want to use the guest network that should drop down. And there it is right there. And then we'll add a password, save and done. Now we need to log into the switch and make sure that the port one is allowed to all VLANs and all traffic. Because if we don't, then we won't get any DHCP. And we also want to use the port what is this one? SFP one to all two. So that way all the VLAN traffic passes through to that. Very easy to do. So what we do is we go up to devices and you'll notice here at the top, this the access points online too, but we're gonna go to the uh, switch. So we wanna go to the switch and then we wanna go to port and we can see that we have two active um, links on here. We have the uplink traffic uh, port from the firewall to the switch, which is SFP one. So if we click on that, we can see that all VLANs are enabled, which is good. We want that. I'm going to go like this and go main link because I like naming my ports. We're going to save that. And since I already know that the access points plugged into one, we're going to label that too. And we're going to check and see if it's on all, which it already is default. Then we're going to go main AP. Actually, we'll go We'll name it the same as what we need the access point so it's easy to find later on for troubleshooting and stuff like that. So that's in there. Let's see what happens here. So the, yeah, I got two, I gotta change that. I got two SSIDs that are the same in the same room. Jason's lab, let's call this Jason's grand stream lab. We got two SSIDs in the same room, I forgot about that. We'll wait for that to provision, but let's see if the guest one's here. 
Jason's Grand Stream Lab is on my phone. We'll put in the password. We're online. We have an uh, IP, but I'm going to turn off private and the traffic and the limit IP tracking thing so that way we can see my phone and its host name in here. And that should make life easier. Yep, we got an IP address 192.168.80.131, which is in our scope. And do we see it in here yet? There's my phone right there. It's on the Grand Stream Wireless Lab and it says where it is right there. It says wireless, so it's on the wireless connection. Let's try the guest network before I make that other change and see if that works. It did. That's kind of cool because last time I had to make one change and that change was going to devices and going to main firewall. Um, it was under configuration and it said ex network acceleration. If I didn't enable this to hardware acceleration, I couldn't use the network. Very strange. Maybe it was a bug. Maybe something just didn't provision properly. I don't know. Okay, so now what I want to show you, something very, very easy. We're going to plug in my laptop to the switch just to make sure that everything's working. We'll plug it into port 8. And within a couple seconds, you'll see my laptop show up on 8. We'll go to devices, uh, switch, port. Oh, it's already there. My lap laptop is on port 8. We should be able to go fast.com. We have speed test. That's working. Now, what I want to do is I want to show you guys how to turn a port into a tagged port so you can plug a device into it. That's very, very easy. So let's do port five on the bottom, this one right here. And all we have to do is go guest network. We're going to call this MacBook and we're gonna use my laptop, plug that into it. And let's see if this works too. And it's online already. 192.168.10.120. Let's see if we can hit that. There's my laptop. Very, very, very simple. I'm not gonna go over any rules or anything like that. I was just wanting to show you guys how to add stuff to the cloud and get it all working and show you how sometimes it's really, really snappy and sometimes just a little bit slower. Nothing like uh, other products like, I mean, Ruba's good, but doing any mods or any changes on any of their access points or switches takes about a minute to three minutes for things to change. As you guys can tell, this is a little bit quicker than that. It's probably because of the shirt. Just joke, it's not the shirt. Um, let's go back to here, go to dashboard. So my laptop's now plugged into the switch. This other second laptop's plugged into the switch. What else could we show you guys? Clients shows wired, so it shows two laptops. Did my phone drop off? Probably because it connected back to my uh, Jason's lab. Yeah, connected back to my Jason's lab. Oh well, because I told him that's preferred network for it to be on. So pretty simple how to do all these things. So as you can tell, very easy to set up and navigate and use in a network. I've tried the VPN and it's extremely easy. Something that actually works flawless other than ingenious routers that I have over there that don't have VPN in them. Hopefully one day they will, but we won't get into that topic. So today, hopefully that helped you out. If you have any questions for video two that you want me to address and show them, I will address those in there and uh, we'll go from there. What do you guys think of my new sign? You like that? You have a great day. Thanks for watching.